Hi, welcome to Grace for Today. Today we're going to be talking about speaking the word. If you enjoyed these episodes, please ensure that you go onto our Facebook page and like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It says in the word, and since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe, and therefore I spoke. We also believe, and therefore we speak. And that's in 2 Corinthians 4.13. Last week we were sharing with you just the power of speaking the word. We are all equipped, we all know that, with the written word. We have tremendous power, tremendous promises that God has given to us throughout his word. And that is so so much an anchor in our lives. I know for me, so many days, um, I wake up, there's mornings when I don't feel the best, when the thoughts of what's gonna be before me just start to overwhelm me with what that day looks like. And I know the first thing I need to do is get into the word. The first thing I need to do is realign myself with what God says about me who he says he is and who he says I am. And as soon as I start to do that, I just feel the pressure come off. I feel that, oh my goodness, what I, what I thought was gonna overwhelm me isn't quite as bad anymore. And I start to have a sense of his peace leading and guiding me. And that for me is fantastic. But what I've realized is it's not just about knowing the word, knowing the written word, but it's actually so powerful when we speak it. Because I reminded you last week that whenever God created the world, he spoke it into being. There is incredible power in his word but it's almost like it's latent power until we come in a line with it and we start to declare it and to speak it and to proclaim it over our lives and that's when we can start to really see changes happening because we start to agree with what God says and we actually take his word and we share it and we believe it and we it comes to life in and through us because his spirit dwells within us but we choose to partner with him we choose to allow his spirit to to take hold of of what what we have inside and we declare it and we start to see situations change. It's about releasing his word into situations. And you know what, often fear can come in and fear is quite an irrational thing. Fear, it doesn't really make sense. We can try and logically start to look at what we're all worried about and say, you know what, why why am I worrying about that? And you know, we can try and rationalize it away, but actually it's a spiritual thing. When we're dealing with spiritual things, we need to come at it with spiritual weapons. And that weapon is this word. This, it just, you know, the Bible describes the word as a sword, and it's the sword of the spirit. And we need to come with that sword whenever we feel discouraged, whenever we feel overwhelmed, whenever we start to feel that life is going the wrong way, we need to come with that sword of the spirit and declare what God says about us, who he says we are, and the fact that we are overcomers, the fact that nothing can ever separate us from his love the fact that he will be with us now and forever. Just whenever we start to say those truths, whenever we start to, you know, allow that to take root within us and we speak it forth, we are gonna see incredible change within our lives. And we're gonna know that we're overcomers, that we're more than conquerors. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to us and click the bell icon to receive notifications each time we upload new content or go live. Thanks for watching and be blessed.